don't understand the the conviction that's associated with people who hold a majority of the coins. It's not like the that you have these fringe people that have a small position size that have this insane level of conviction. It's the people that have enormous stakes in it that have this level of conviction that as the price goes down 50%, they didn't even think about selling it. In fact, they were doing everything that they could to buy more. And so when we, if, if you look at the amount of coins that have been issued into the, through the protocol and you take a percentage of that, um, of those coins, what percent of it is held by people with this deep, ridiculous conviction that are deep in the money and really aren't even phased by a 50% drop, um, I would I would argue that that number is really high, like 80% or, or something of that magnitude. Yeah. I mean, the interesting thing is it doesn't have to even be the natural, you know, makeup of the average investor. It's just that those people are the survivors <laughs> because <clears throat> if you don't take that attitude, you tend to get washed out, right? Or, or you, you know, you panic, you would, you would be inclined to sell in a dip or not buy in the first place because you're worried about volatility or something. So the people that either start out with this attitude or develop it over time, I think most people develop it over time. Um, I think it basically your investment portfolio denomination changes. That's, that's, that's been my view for a long time now yeah. that I want to increase the number of coins I have. And if the price is plus or minus 50%, I don't even account for it. Like, you know, one Bitcoin is one Bitcoin. The question is, how do I get more Bitcoin without increasing risk that I might lose some of the Bitcoin I have got? And so that's where the you know, leverage trading gets potentially dangerous if you overdo it because it can, uh, there's another saying, which is, uh, leverage can't uh, make a bad investment good, but it can make a good investment bad, which is to say that you have something like you long-term want to buy and hold, but if you over-leverage a price pullback that you would like to buy, kind of forces a sale to protect, you know, so that liquidation is partial or not full or something. Because if you, if you certainly, if you, uh, you know, if some, some people are doing quite high leverage and that can like completely liquidate a uh, portfolio basically or, or whatever's on exchange. Yeah, maybe to add on uh, the, uh, I, I totally agree with uh, um, the, per- the point you made earlier about the holders uh, with with vision and 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 great con- conviction. They um, they're the great holders. They are the holders you like to see in Bitcoin. And and it's funny, I I tweeted that the other day and got a lot of uh, hate for that. That uh, people who can- who cannot afford or cannot stand the volatility. Um, yeah, they they shouldn't be there. You know, they they sh- uh, they shouldn't um, position themselves into a uh, yeah into a position that that they can be shaken out um, against their will. Or and, and we all know those those people that let, let's uh, look at last two months the, when the price was uh, fifty seven thousand, sixty thousand. I know personally a lot of people who entered the market, but who I could tell. Um, it, it couldn't stand the the minus thirty five minus fifty percent drops and and yeah well so when it happened they they chickened out the the within a month within two months and that was really a lot of people I, I from from on chain I guessed um, about twenty billion um, dollars was lost by people who bought the the month before so that 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 shows us that. I guess the people with vision, the really long-term holders, they were okay until last month, uh, and I would say March and April, um, because in those months, we we got so much people with high leverage, I guess, with uh, no vision uh, that did not really understand Bitcoin, or at least not the the low time preference that goes with it, that should go with it, and they sold. I have never seen it on chain, by the way, in any other uh, month or year, so the 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 holders that bought last two months are the weakest holders ever uh, that couldn't couldn't stand the volatility. And um, yeah, it's it. I agree. It's the volatility is part of the market. It's it's part of what what makes Bitcoin great. And if if yeah, if you can't handle it, you you will hurt yourself. So. 